Hey guys, it's the Nerdy Girl Julia, and I'll be doing this really amazing makeup tutorial today. So if you guys are a big fan of Once Upon a Time, I'm going to become the awesome, cool seer who could see through the future. So let's start. So you're going to need some awesome scissors. I prefer to use safety scissors because I'm a very clumsy person and I would probably cut myself. So that's my cat Tribble in the background. He's super adorable. Next, you're going to have to have Ben Nye liquid latex and a hairband to pull back your hair, like so, and also a cute little makeup sponge and some black thread, and don't forget the needles, that's what you need, and some paper, napkins, whatever you have, an awesome pen to mark things with. Okay, so you take the piece paper and you start to draw the design so I kind of went ahead and did that like so and I know my head shape apparently so okay so now I take my awesome scissors so I start to cut away so for those of you that don't watch Once Upon a Time it's an amazing show you can totally watch it on Netflix that's what I've been doing so I'm kind of a behind but when I was watching this episode I fell in love with the seer and basically the seer doesn't have eyes are actually attached to the seer's hands and she could like see through the future and stuff which is pretty amazing and oh my god it's just a really good show you guys should totally watch it I totally suggest it so then get the liquid latex and you just start to apply it on the paper so for those of you that have never used liquid latex it's super awesome and it stinks I got this at Frankel's in Houston, and I got it for about $13, I believe. But it's totally worth it, so I totally suggest you guys. I just want you guys to buy it, gosh. And uh, here we go. I'm just pouring it away. And there it is. You just splatter all over it. Just do it. And then I use a blow dryer. I just didn't do it in front of the camera because it makes a lot of noise. So you take your sponge and you start to dip it into the palette of makeup that I have. So I put a bunch of pe peaches colors just to just so you can't see the lines or so you won't see the paper or anything just to disguise it. So it's kind of glittery. So there it is and I'm taking the scissors and I'm having a really tough time you know, doing this first person view with my camera, so I, uh, yeah, there, there it is, I'm trying really hard. So, okay, now my husband has a camera, so I cut it, I cut on the, the pieces there, so, and then we get my, uh, needle and thread going, but, um, sometimes, like, if you want to do it this way, you could totally, you know, paint on it or whatever but I like making it look as real as possible just to give that awesome illusion I hope you guys enjoy doing that my cat's on the floor that's great and yeah there he is just there there he is just so adorable and uh, by the way guys this is like my first video ever to be narrating so I'm not really good at explaining and I'm also having a really really tough time putting this needle and thread thing I can't I don't know what's going on it's really hard I wear glasses I'm practically blind uh, this is not right oh my god I hope you guys like my nails they're cute yeah it's just it's really hard you have no idea how do people do this oh my god but yeah this is totally my first time narrating myself and I, I hope you guys are enjoying this I guess I hope you guys give me some thumbs up um, so I can probably do more of this I'm hoping I can do more tutorials you know for Halloween to help you guys uh, do awesome stuff you know and uh, okay so um, totally ADD I need to start sewing it so you're gonna have to leave two parts of it open like you're not gonna sew it all the way because you need your eyes to be able to see through it. You don't want to be completely blind. So, you know, sewing is fun and sewing is complicated at the same time. I totally give props to the people that make their own costumes and like to sew and enjoy sewing because I, I can't do this. It's so hard. It's very hard, but totally give you guys some 
some thumbs up to that, you know. But, but um, this is the most I've ever sewn, like, shirts in my face. But, uh, yeah, this is it's pretty awesome and exciting. I, just, I really enjoy doing this, uh, doing makeup stuff. I love making myself look ugly. It's so, oh, look at my pudge. It's so disgusting. Okay, so I'm ready to apply this to my face. So you take your headband and you just kind of, yeah, just do that. what I'm doing on, yeah, just do that. And if you're a boy and you're bald, you're lucky because I wish I was bald just for this tutorial. So, yeah, so I'm here putting it on my face, making sure I measured it right and I didn't so I'm gonna just trim it it's just completely fine to trim it no big deal look at the flower on the napkin isn't that great yeah sponsored by Bounty just kidding so here we are putting it on my face and it's pretty awesome you see you just leave those holes there so you can see through it I look very happy and excited that's my serious face <laughs> That's my serious face right there. So that's CoverGirl. I have the black shadow. has glitter. No, no big deal. Got a Batman up, you know. Got to put it on like Batman. There, wow. I look disgusting. Just kind of put all over there. Who cares? Okay, so make sure. Okay, I didn't make sure. <laughs> it's not fitting properly, so I have to continue the whole process of cutting it, making sure it's okay, it's just the edges, everything was right, it's just the corners that weren't my, yeah, it's just too long, no big deal, Julia's fixing it, I hope you guys at home are following, okay, there we go, so I'm putting latex, liquid latex on the in, the other side of the napkin, I use a lot of liquid latex to stick things to my face, I do that, I don't know why, People like to do the spirit gum. I don't because it takes a long time to wash out. Just be sure you don't have hair on your face because, yeah, it will stick, it will stick on and it would hurt. But I don't have hair on my face, so that's great. So very happy I'm not a boy right now because this would have been really painful when pulling it off my face, which you're going to see in the end. But there I am applying some latex. To glue it on my face so just pat it down position your eyes to the little slits there see it looks scary it's awesome I'm having trouble here okay okay I'm trying to glue it now oh my god this is of a mess I am a mess oh goodness just kind of okay Oh, and by the way, I'm completely blind, so I'm actually uh, having a tough time doing this. But I suggest if you do this, have a mannequin head. That's something I need. I need a mannequin head so I can do this to the mannequin head and not my face. So, and there we go. Really cold. Just rubbing it on me. Still blind. I'm looking down because I have a mirror there, so that kind of helps me a little bit. There we go. Okay, adding more. There we are. It's going. Yep, still going and doing this. It's just gonna take for a long, really long time. Um, I didn't get my wax. I have like, like this wax that I can just apply. It's like the waxing, um, the scar to make scars, like the wax. So yeah, totally don't know what I'm talking about right now. Why? Totally spacing out. Okay. Who cares? So, I should have used the scarring wax, but I didn't. I didn't think this through. I just woke up this morning and was like, hey, I'm going to do this. So, this is all just freestyle, I guess you could say. But if you had the waxing, the wax stuff, like you could just blend it in your skin, like blend it, blend the edges so it looks more natural. I didn't do that, so it doesn't look very good. I could have made it the way I'm trying to explain it with the wax and stuff, but I didn't. So here I am just marking with my pen just to make it look like I have more stitches because when I was doing this, I'm like, man, I should have stitched it up a little bit more. 
but it's okay. You know, this is why we need makeup, so I'm putting some black shadow a little bit, and I'm having trouble with my hairband. I have big ears. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, so disgusting. So now I'm patting it just to kind of blend it in there. I'm going to put some makeup and everything's going to be okay. It's just okay. Oh, never mind. No makeup. I'm blow drying. I did. I only watched this video one time before I started narrating, so I'm just like, what am I talking about? I'm a terrible narrator. I cannot explain. I cannot be a teacher and explain this to children because I would have a tar terrible, terrible tough time. Uh, there I am, blow drying my face. Movie magic. My lips are dry. Touching it. Make sure everything's dry. No, it's not. It's not. Uh. Okay. Oh my God. It's really hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, okay, we're done. Oh, my ear looks weird. Wait. Oh, um, where am I going? Okay. I'm movie magic. My makeup just randomly appeared on my face. It's great. I'm putting some makeup. By the way, I used the what was it? Maybelline Dream like mousse or something like that. Oh, there I am again. No, I drew an eye. Oh, this is really hard. I can't narrate for crap. Um, so I colored it with my makeup, my my shadow and stuff, and I drew it. And I'm like, hey, look, I'm awesome. I'm a seer. I'm going to tell you the future. And what the future is telling me is that you'll love this video and you'll share it to your friends. And yeah, now I'm Instagramming it and putting it on Facebook so you guys know that I did that. Yeah, now I'm taking it off. Oh, this hurts so bad. This hurts. Oh my god. Oh, my face. Oh, there I am. Hi. Woo! I'm Mexican. And you can totally reuse it if you want. If you don't, just throw it away. It's great. But, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how I did it. I hope you guys learned how to do it. If you guys have questions, email me on here or whatever. But, yeah, thanks.